In this time, my time with you, Jesus, I learned so many lessons and you fill me with your light. In this time, my time with you, Jesus, I learned so many lessons and you fill me with your light. My name is Christine. My Time with Jesus The Guardian Angels Hi everyone! Come on in! We're waiting for Enrique. I can't believe how late he is. No, no, Joseph. I want to see the photos. You see, the other day we went to the Museum of Inventions and we took tons of photos. Enrique went to get the album. Hey, you guys, I brought the photo album. Yippee, I love looking at photos. Look, this is me with Edison's light bulb. That was fantastic. But really, I liked the Apollo rocket the best. That was a real invention. But you know what I think was most amazing of all? What? Ta-da! A robot that does your household chores. Yeah, that was totally awesome. Can you imagine if we all had a robot like that? I love robots. If I had one, I'd call it Matilda and I'd make her wear a pink dress. Well, mine would be super strong because he'd be made of concentrated titanium. Plus, he would be way more intelligent. We could both study together. Ah, he'd be my best friend. <laughs> you know what? We already have something way better than that. Are you joking? What could be better than a high-tech super robot? A guardian angel. Guardian angels are robots? No, they're spirits. Wait a second, wait a second. You mean you can't see them? Exactly. You can't see them, but they exist. And every one of us has a guardian angel? That's right. I love angels. Yeah, you love everything. And what do our guardian angels do? Well, they help us get to heaven, which is our goal. God has given every one of us an angel. Wow. Hey, but, but, are you sure? I mean, I can't see mine. Of course I'm sure. Jesus talked about guardian angels. Do you want to see? Yes, I didn't know Jesus said anything about angels. You children at home can see it for yourselves too. Do you want to come? You do? Then let's use our imaginations to travel back to the time of Jesus. We'll open the Holy Gospels, find the passage about the guardian angels, then close our eyes and... If you close your eyes and give me a hand, we will travel all together to a faraway land. We're gonna learn about Jesus, our way, our truth, and our life. All in the Holy Gospels, which fill us with His light. Bible Stories That was great! I love traveling with our imaginations. Are we in the time of Jesus? Yes, look, Jesus is speaking with His disciples. Are the disciples Jesus' friends? Exactly! 
Come on, what are you standing around for? Don't you want to see Jesus? Hey, why are you dressed like that? Where did you get those strange clothes? Well, we come from the future. It's kind of hard to explain. Oh, that doesn't matter. Come on, let's go see Jesus. Hey, where did Tassio go? How would I know? I'm starting to get sick of that parrot. He's always getting lost. Tassio was in the space station. You took your traveling antics too far. I guess they threw you out, right? No room for me. They sent Tassio back to Earth. I'm not surprised. They don't let parrots into the space station. Come on, let's go see Jesus. Master, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? What a question. Even I know that. The greatest in the kingdom of heaven are the most intelligent. Definitely. Or the strongest. Or the holiest. Shh, quiet. Let's listen to what Jesus said about guardian angels. I tell you solemnly, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. I didn't know kids were so important. See that you never despise any of these little ones, for I tell you that their angels in heaven are continually in the presence of my Father in heaven. You see, Jesus talked about our guardian angels. It's true. Hello, children. Father Luis, what are you doing here? Right, how did you get here? <laughs> well, I can also use my imagination to travel back to the time of Jesus. And this is one of my favorite passages because it talks about the guardian angels. I have a special devotion to my angel. Are you serious? But we can't see angels. That's right, because they're spirits, but they listen to us and they help us. The angels act in our lives and in our minds. Wow. What's more, sometimes God has used his angels as messengers. Do you remember the Incarnation? Rejoice, so highly favored. The Lord is with you. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. That's right, I remember. It was Saint Gabriel, the Archangel. Very good, Enrique. God also sent an angel to the shepherds to tell them about the birth of Jesus. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. That's right. And there are more. The first Christians were very familiar with their guardian angels. For example, Saint Peter was once in prison. The Acts of the Apostles tells us that King Herod imprisoned St. Peter so he could put him on trial after the Passover. Peter was held in a prison with soldiers guarding him. Christians were praying for their brothers in prison, especially for St. Peter, who was the head of the church. Suddenly, an angel appeared at Peter's side. Get up, hurry! Put on your belt and your sandals. Wrap your cloak round and follow me. St. Peter thought he was dreaming. Then the angel led St. Peter out of prison and took him the length of one street. The angel disappeared and St. Peter realized it wasn't a dream, but in fact had all been real. Who is it at this time of night? It's me, Peter. The servant, when she heard Peter's voice, was so excited that instead of opening the door, she rushed to where the others were to give them the news. Peter is here. You're out of your mind. Peter's in prison. It must be his angel. Come on, let's, let's open, open the, the door. door. Then Peter told them how the angel had freed him from prison. Go tell James and the brothers, will you? You see, the first Christians talked about their guardian angels in a very natural way. Father Luis, are guardian angels a gift from God? That's right. I ask my angel to remind me of things throughout the day. I also ask him to help me say my prayers and to not get distracted. Well, children, it's time for me to go. I have work to do. It's time for us to go back to the tree house, too. That was fantastic! <laughs>
You know what? I'm going to ask my guardian angel to take care of us when we go visit with my grandmother. Right, I'll ask him to help me not to get distracted when I'm praying at church because sometimes I'll look at the candles and I forget that I'm with Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. That's a great idea. Hey, I don't know what to ask for. Me neither. We have to think of something. I believe, Jesus, that you are in the tabernacle very close to me. Every Catholic Church Thank you, good Jesus For remaining with us Living with us forever Right by our side We pray to our Lord in the Tabernacle Hi everyone! We've come here to the church to pray for a little while before Jesus here present in the Blessed Sacrament. Sister Lucia will help us to pray. That's right. You know, we can always ask our guardian angel to help us say our prayers. They care for us so we can enter heaven, which is our goal. Okay, dear guardian angel, please help me to say my prayers the way I should and not get distracted by the candles, even though they're so pretty. I came here to pray to Jesus and that's what I want to do. Amen. Very good, Ava. Your angel will help you. And now, I'm going to teach you a very beautiful prayer that you can pray to your guardian angel. Oh, great! You children at home can pray, too. You just have to read the words as they appear on the screen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen! Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, rule and guide, Amen. Amen! Amen. Sister Lucia? What is it, Joseph? My guardian angel is my friend, right? Well, of course. He's much more than a friend. He's been with you since you were born, and he'll be with you until you die. All my life? That's right. Wow! That's awesome! I bet he has really big muscles. Hey, you're just imagining your guardian angel is like the chewing gum man. You're always the same. Hey, I can imagine him any way I like. Well, my angel must be all rusty because I never talk to him. I bet he's bored with me. <laughs> don't you worry. Angels don't get rusty. Your guardian angel has more patience than you think. Even if you don't talk to him, he's always with you. He'll never desert you. Well, okay. Guardian angel, please help me get up in the morning. Because, you know, I find that really hard. <laughs> it's true. You're a real sleepyhead. That sounds great. And you could start by going to bed a little earlier at night, don't you think? Jesus, thank you for giving every one of us a guardian angel to guide us and help us to get to heaven, which is our goal. Amen. Our mother, the church, has always taught us the road to heaven, cause this is our goal. Our Catholic Faith. Hi, Mom. Hi, Joseph. How was school today? Great. Guess what? Father Luis told me all about my guardian angel. That's wonderful. I have a great devotion to mine. Do you talk to him? Of course. I know he's always with me and that he listens to me. My friends all ask for help with things, but I... I don't know what to ask for. Don't worry. You'll think of something. By the way, did you bring your gym clothes home so I can wash them? Uh-oh. Did you forget again? Wait a second. I'm sorry, Mom. Honey, it's been three days now. You're a very smart boy, but sometimes you're very forgetful. I know. I think I left my bag in the gym. You know if you go on this way, I'm never going to be able to wash your gym clothes. Uh, sorry. Really, I am. Well, don't worry about it. You know. I think you should ask your guardian angel to help you remember to bring your gym clothes home. That would be great. You see, now you can ask him for something. Father Luis also asks his guardian angel to remind him of things he has to do. Mom! 
Dad, do you think we should pray to our guardian angels and ask them to protect us on this journey? Yes, of course. I do that every time I have to travel somewhere. That's great, Kristen. I think it's an excellent idea. Guardian Angel, please make sure we have a safe trip and protect us on the way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. 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 You know, your grandmother taught me to pray to my guardian angel when I was a little girl. And I still pray to him today. It's like having a friend who goes everywhere with you. I can't wait to see Grandma. Well, we'll be at her house in a couple of hours. She'll be very happy to see you. Enrique, it's very late. You need to go to sleep. Mom, I'm not tired. Just another hour. Sweetie, you need to sleep. Sleep is good for you. You need sleep so you can grow. Okay. If you stay up late, you won't want to get out of bed tomorrow morning. As usual. You know, I'm gonna ask my guardian angel to help me get up early in the morning. That's the hardest thing for me. Fantastic. I think that's a great idea. And to do that, you need to go to bed earlier and get plenty of sleep. It's a deal. That's great, sweetie. You can do it. You wait and see. Oh, hello! How wonderful to see you all! Grandma, I've been so excited about this visit! Me too, honey. How was your trip? It was fine, thank you. Guess what, Grandma? Each of us prayed to our guardian angel to protect us during the journey. Your guardian angels? That's wonderful! Do you remember, Mom? You taught me to pray to him when I was small. Of course I remember. By the way, Kristen, since we're talking about guardian angels, I have something for you. You do? Come up to the attic and I'll show you. I think I put it here. What is it, Grandma? Something I've been keeping until you are old enough. Here it is, look. This photo album is from when your mom was a little girl. I put the holy card of the guardian angels in here with the photos. It's beautiful. And it has the prayer Sister Lucia taught us on it. Yes, this is a very old holy card. My mom gave it to me when I was a girl. Then I give it to your mom, and now... Here, keep it and take care of it for your children. Grandma, I... I don't know what to say. Say this prayer to your angel every day. He will protect you and help you on your way to heaven. Even if you can't see him, your angel is always with you. He cares for you and helps you. Don't forget him. I won't forget him, Grandma. Ah, wow, I got up right away. Tessio, the window's closed. You can't just fly through it. Tessio can't awake Enrique. Thanks, but I'm already up. Tessio can't believe it. Can't believe it. Well, it's true, thanks to my guardian angel. Joseph. Yes, Mom. Remember to bring your gym clothes home so I can wash it for you. Okay. Guardian angel. Please, please help me to remember to bring my gym clothes home today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Enrique, it's time to get up. Enrique, goodness, well this is a surprise. He even made his bed. Morning, Mom. Morning, uh, I'm impressed. Pretty good, huh? I'm absolutely stunned, Enrique. Last night, I asked my guardian angel to help me get up right away. And I also went to bed nice and early. That's great. I'm very proud of you. At the end of this program, let's take a moment to reflect on what we learned today and how to change our lives. Through your Catholic Church, dear Jesus, we receive your peace and grace. Walking with our Mother Mary until we see you face to face. Let's review what we've learned. Hi, everyone. Well, we've reached the end of the program, and Father Luis is going to help us review what we've learned today. 
Great. Well, I'm sure you've all learned a lot. Yeah, we learned three things. The first is that God has given each one of us a guardian angel to protect us and guide us to heaven, which is our goal. That's right. Jesus himself talked about our guardian angels. Do you remember? I do. We traveled with our imaginations and we saw this. I tell you solemnly, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. I didn't know kids were so important. See that you never despise any of these little ones, for I tell you that their angels in heaven are continually in the presence of my Father in heaven. Okay, what was the second thing you've learned? Sister Lucia taught us a very beautiful prayer to our guardian angel. Do you remember? You can pray it by following the words as they appear on the screen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, rule and guide. Amen. You prayed it very well. And what is the third thing you learned? Me, me, me! <laughs> okay, go on, you tell us. We learned that we can talk to our guardian angel and ask him to help us. I asked mine to help me get out of bed in the morning. And I asked mine to help me remember that I have to bring my gym clothes home so my mom can wash them. And I ask mine to help me not get distracted when I'm praying in church because my mind always wonders when I look at the candles. <laughs> well, the candles are very pretty. And I ask mine to take care of us every time we travel. Great. Your angels are very happy to help you. That's their mission. Guardian Angel, thank you for helping me remember my gym clothes. You know I can be forgetful sometimes. Help me to remember to bring them home every week. Help me always to get out of bed first thing in the morning. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here ever this day be by my side. To light and guard, rule and guide, amen. I thank you, Lord, my dear Jesus, for the many blessings I receive from you. Every day I want to make you very happy In my every thought and in everything I do You once were a child, Lord, just like me As I grow you are with me every day I give you my mind, Lord Show 